Welcome back to Old School Sports and our playthrough of Tennis Manager 2021. We are heading into the fall and the end of the 2021 season uh, with a focus on the hard court indoor season. You can see uh, Maxime Cressy's schedule for the next several weeks ahead of us here. Uh, we're going to be training this week back at our headquarters, the Tennis Academy, the Old School Sports Tennis Academy. And then um, a little bit more of an ambitious schedule in the opening weeks, uh, playing in a 250 event uh, in Europe, another 250 event in Asia, and then we're going to try to qualify for the Shanghai Masters, hopefully play in that the next week, and then a 250 event in Stockholm, and then try to qualify for the Rolex Paris Masters. Um, We've done a, a good job with Maxime this year getting into the top 100, which is our goal. We're 69th in the world. If you look at some of the other goals that we wanted to achieve over the course of this year, was reaching the round of 16 in a 500 or 250 level event, and then uh, getting into the, the main draw in a Masters tournament. So uh, we're trying to set up the schedule to achieve a few of those things, and then later in the season um, we do have at least one 80-level event that we are planning on participating in, and hopefully similar to um, the three 80-level events that we've won earlier this season. Hopefully uh, we can pick up some big points in that event towards the end of the year and then uh, have a few weeks off before beginning the 2022 season. Well, we're a couple weeks into the indoor hard court season and uh, we have achieved one of our goals. You can see um, we lost in our first match at the Moselle Open, which was a 250 level event a week ago. But then recently we did win a match and get to the round of 16 at the Chengdu Open, which was also a 250 level event for us. So, um, you know, the Chengdu Open, the round of 16 there is 20 points, which is not a ton, but still helps us a little bit. But more importantly, um, that did get us into the round of 16 at a Masters Level 500 or 250 event. So another goal achieved. Uh, you can see we got an 88% success rate um, with our goals for Maxime. So the uh, last goal that we have not yet achieved this year is getting into uh, the round of 128 in a Masters 1000 level event. And uh, ahead of us, um, that's what we have this week. We are at the Shanghai Masters qualifying. Uh, hopefully we can win a couple of matches and get into the main draw out of the qualifying, in which so we'll have, uh, at least for a period of time, achieved every goal that we wanted to with Maxime this season. Well, we won our first um, match in qualifying for the Shanghai Masters, bounced back from a loss of the first set to beat Christopher Eubanks, and now uh, we are one match away from getting into the uh, main draw at the very valuable, both in terms of points and prize money, Shanghai Masters. Tough match ahead of us against uh, Philip Kohlschreiber. We will, uh, we will see how it goes. He's ranked 75th in the world, uh, has a pretty big serve. Um, we are going to be as intense as possible with our intensity levels, have never played him before. We'll see if uh, our big serve can give us the advantage over the German here. Maxime is determined. You know I believe in you. We will speed up the uh, first round here and uh, early stages we are on serve. Just got a break. Good results for us. Uh, got the first set 6-3 with the one break that we earned. You're ahead in the score Maxime. Stay calm, make sure you get the result. And we're still both on serve early here in the second set. Everyone's looking for a break. Looks like we're headed to a tiebreaker. And unfortunately, we lost the tiebreaker 7 6, so we're headed to a third set. <clears throat> Ah, 
haven't made any tactical changes, but we're going to tell him that those tactical changes are going to make the difference, and they seem to be helping. We did get an early break. Another break, 6-1 in the final set, so a 6-3, 6-7, 6-1 victory for Maxime Cressy in qualifying for the Shanghai Masters. Great job. Go get some treatment and rest. And we are on to the main draw next week, so that will be a big step in the direction for us of our ranking, earning some money, and achieving the goals that uh, Maxime set for this partnership at the beginning of this season. Well, we did get bounced in our first match at the Shanghai Masters in the round of 64, uh, but it was still positive for us to uh, play in the tournament. You can see only 10 points as we lost our, our first match. But in terms of uh, what we wanted to achieve this year with Maxime, getting into the Masters 1000 level event gives us a 100% success rate in our goals. So presumably uh, Maxime will be interested in, in re-signing with us for next season. Hopefully we can get a multi-year contract with him and continue to move up through the rankings and uh, earn more money for both him and Old School Sports Tennis Academy. And uh, when we do get to the off season, we're also going to be looking to update our staff. Um, going to uh, be looking to let our first level agent, analyst, and scout all go when their contracts run out, and then probably add another uh, strong trainer and another physio to hopefully help support a uh, second player that we'd like to bring on in the off season, also. So that is the um, goal as far as um, bringing on people in the coming coming months. But we still have uh, tournament action ahead of us. Um, Maxime is playing in a 250 level event this coming week at the Stockholm Open. And uh, we will hopefully have a few more good performances before the season comes to an end to uh, keep his ranking in that, you know, 70th area which uh, is well inside of our goal to get into the top 100 this season. Well the season's moving along and our agent, analyst, and scout all came to us uh, asking me to extend their contracts. Uh, unfortunately I told them all that I was not going to extend their contracts so uh, we will be looking for some new talent when the uh, new season starts. Um, the good news is that we did qualify for the Rolex Paris Masters this week, so we will be playing in another 1,000-level Masters event uh, this coming week. Uh, the bad news is the week before we lost in the first round at the Stockholm Open, but uh, you can see we're doing a good job with our goals for the season, other than only having staff with uh, salaries below thirty-one forty-nine a month, um, which there's nothing we can do now that we had signed that contract. Um, but um, the, the season is going well. We're in a good financial position. And um, thinking about the last few weeks of the uh, season for Maxime, as I mentioned, we're going to be in the Rolex Paris Masters uh, this coming week since we have qualified for it. After that, we're going to play an 80-level event, uh, the Knoxville Open, back in North America. Um, that's been a level that we've been able to be very successful at this season. And then um, that that's going to be it for the season. Um, hopefully we will do well in that um, Knoxville Open uh, the week after next. Would like to win it uh, at the very least, hopefully get into the semifinals and uh, rack up a few more points as we get close to the end of the season. But uh, only two tournaments left, and they couldn't be more different with the Rolex Paris Masters, 1,000-level Masters event and then the 80-level Knoxville Open to close out the 2021 season for Maxime. Well, we got bounced in the first round at the Rolex Masters last week and had a pretty disappointing uh, Knoxville Open this week, although we won our first uh, match. We lost uh, in the round of 16, so certainly not what we were looking for in our uh, final tournament of the season. We're hoping to get uh, a few few more points to support our ranking at this late stage since uh, those would likely be sticking with us till about this point next year. Uh, we're headed back to the academy for the uh, next couple of weeks to do a little more training uh, before the official end of the 2021 tennis season. 
Well, just as Maxime has made progress in his abilities through his training and hard work and tournament results this year, uh, we've uh, been bounced up two levels. We started at a level one player, and uh, apparently we, we just moved up two levels to reach season as a manager. So uh, so that's certainly helpful for us on the margins. Um, you know, you can see we're letting the, the three novice level uh, employees we have on the support team go. But uh, we are getting up to a more respectable level as far as our uh, skills and abilities. You can see we are definitely a generalist in terms of our, our training as well as our management skills. Not exceptional at anything particularly, uh, but also don't have a, a ton of big gaps in our game either. Well, we're at the end of the tennis season for 2021 and uh, our director head of the board James Barnes is uh, delighted with his work at the Academy they're going to invest some more money into the Academy next season so although we've got about 65,000 now that number should be uh, larger after they make that investment um, and now I'm going to have a conversation with Maxime about his goals as I noted earlier in this episode we uh, Achieved every goal that we wanted to with Maxime this year. So a very successful season. Um, he's satisfied with our collaboration. May wish to extend his contract. Like to offer him a new contract. Uh, let's see what he's looking for. Actually not all that intimidating. Um, he only wants to get up to a rank of 70. He's been better than that this season. He did slip back into the mid-70s uh, recently with the, the weaker results we've had. Um, so that's certainly achievable. Um, he's going to want to win two matches in a Grand Slam, get to the round of 32 in a Masters 1000, round of 16 in a 250 level or 500 level event. So certainly more uh, more ambitious objectives um, in the game. Unfortunately, you don't have a lot of negotiating with this. You have to kind of accept what the player is looking for. So we will accept those uh, objectives for next season. Uh, is looking for a three-year contract. That sounds good to us. We'd like to continue collaborating with Maxime through uh, his career. And then uh, He's looking for our revenue share to drop down from the 20% it currently is to 16. Uh, he's pretty patient with us now since we've agreed to everything else. Let's see if he's willing to uh, only go down to 19%. Um, nobody gave us another to get up to 17. Let's try to meet in the middle at 18%. Contract looks good to him. He'll give us the final offer within the week. All right, well, hopefully we will get a positive result there, and uh, Maxime will continue to uh, fill one of the two slots we have on the team. And before we move on uh, to our next episode, um, financial report, uh, we already kind of highlighted that when we, we talked about uh, the board review. Uh, the indoor season was was definitely mixed for Maxime, only a 6-6 six six record, so kind of um, not all that great compared to some of the real strong results we've had earlier this year when we've gone on long runs in tournaments and, and won several of them. Didn't win any tournaments. Um, did win a good amount of money, given that we pay, played in those two uh, Masters 1000 level events, and our ranking uh, leaked a little bit from 73rd at the start of the um, indoor season to 76th, but um, just uh, means that we have to finish next year in the top 70 if Maxime does agree to come back with us. So we are getting ready to move on. Oh, sorry, uh, I thought this was a formality, but Maxime has agreed uh, to continue with us. So we will sign the contract, uh, have Maxime with us next season. He is going to be going on vacation for resting uh, a bit in the coming month. But uh, while Maxime is on vacation, we are going to be working on hiring some additional staff, replacing the staff that's going to be leaving us as well as uh, hopefully recruiting a new player. So thanks so much for watching. That is the end of the 
hard court indoor season and the end of the 2021 season our next episode will go into how the off season went uh what type of talent we brought on board both in terms of staff as well as hopefully another player and our preparations for the upcoming 2022 season thanks so much for watching hope you have a great day